Hi everyone. Welcome to another watercolor segment with Laurel Hart. I want you to know how much I love reading your comments. They're sometimes as creative as I'm sure your paintings are. And I'd like to read one of them to you. This comes from Sagnik. I guess that's how you say the name. They say, thanks for the videos. They're like lighthouses showing hope and direction to people out at Sea of Watercolor. I just think that's great. <laughs> Don't we sometimes feel that way as artists that we're bobbing around in a sea of watercolor, hoping to find the lighthouse of success so that it'll lead us to safety and our paintings won't crash on the rocks and burn? Today I want to talk about some of the dangers and fears of failure that we face as artists as we try to reach success in our journey. I've received a lot of comments from viewers that make me think we need a little pep talk in this area, and that's what I'd like to do today. One of the big things that I think creates feelings of inadequacy or failure is comparing ourselves to other painters. This is really unfair, you guys. We can't do that to ourselves because none of us are really at the same point in our journey as someone else. And it's important to remember that every single one of us starts out at the same point, and that is at the bottom. Every one of us had to start with the first painting. Some of us are just a little further along the path than others are. Some of us have painted years longer than someone else. Some of us have the luxury to paint full time, and some of us are doing good to get an hour in here and there. Some have had the opportunity to have formal art training, and some have had to find creative ways to get an education. There's a quote that I really, really like that says, comparison is the great robber of joy. I think we really need to let that sink in as artists. Here are a few comments I'd like to share from some viewers. Julie says, I feel like giving up painting. Your work is fantastic. Callet, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, says, that is so perfect. Why are you so, so perfect? This is so not true. I just don't show you my failures here. Christine says, lovely, you make it look easy, but I don't know. Rosa says, for doing this, it is necessary to be a master. You guys, stop tormenting yourselves. Stop comparing yourselves to somebody else. Another reason that we may not be successful is the fear of failure itself. Sometimes the fear of failing keeps us from even trying. I love this comment that was sent in from Barbara. She said, I just read your comment that there is no such thing as a failure, and I believe that. She said, my first watercolor teacher used to say, you don't make mistakes, you make originals. Ha, huh? I have a lot of those. Don't we all? Isn't that great? Here's an experience that is shared by Diana. Thank you. It was both inspirational and encouraging following a frustrating morning when I did not succeed in capturing the jewel-like colors and subtle color changes in a pot of primulas. Now I'm ready for another attempt. I think that's really a good attitude and one that we would really all do well to adopt. We need to have some patience with ourselves. Kathy said this, which is, I think, so funny. She said, I'd be freaking out if I put a bunch of color on the page like that, then thinking, what in the world did I just do and how in the world am I going to fix it? Your style is amazing as you go with confidence, bringing it all to life. I guess with practice, one has a vision of the beautiful end results. And that is really the key, Kathy. It does take patience and sometimes years of experience to obtain confidence. Success is sometimes recognizing our mistakes and getting frustrated or mad enough to finally fix them. Mode sent in this uh, comment, thank you, now I know where I am weak at. And Lou said, I need to practice to get rid of the fear of placing darks down. Success sometimes is having the courage to believe in yourself and just buckle down to work. Maureen said, I'm getting better, but you really have to practice over and over again. I have a long way to go. Gloria said, hi, Laurel. I'm a beginner in watercolor and I'm struggling. I'm not giving up. 
and am finding your tutorials very helpful. Angie said, you so inspire me to have another go. Terry said, I'm a beginner, but moving to intermediate by the end of the year. Hard at it. I love that. Jean said, you inspire me to pick up my brushes again. Jan, I've watched this three times now and then had a go myself. It didn't quite go to plan, but I'll keep practicing. James, suddenly the value idea in color makes so much sense. Now I'm off to practice. Success is sometimes being willing to try something out of our comfort zone. As he said, you show us to be brave and try this. Jane said, it takes courage to paint intuitively, hoping to get there. Lynette, I am new to watercolors and I've been struggling. I didn't worry about matching colors and I'm thrilled with the result. Brenda said, I'm fairly new to watercolor and these two videos have been so helpful in enhancing my knowledge and comfort level with this medium. Sometimes, you guys, success is just diving in and letting go. Margaret said, I'm going to strap on my apron right now and have a go. And Richard said, you've given me enough confidence to at least try it. Annabelle said, as you say, it's about just diving in and going for it. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela said, I am inspired. I can't wait to dig in. Linda, as someone else mentioned, I'm going to have to dig down deep, find my nerves of steel, and just do it. This will be my goal for my next piece. Success is being willing to keep on learning and evolving. Janet said, just when I was about to give up on painting with watercolor, I discovered your videos. I now am enjoying my watercolors again, and I'm excited to learn more. Judy said, there's always so much more to learn, years and years. When I first found your channel, I was amazed at your paintings and thought I could never make sense of the triads in my work. However, I think I can make that attempt. Success is having the confidence that you can improve, giving up old habits and trying new approaches. Richard said, you have introduced me to a new way of using color that could bring a new level of creativity to my paintings. Eula sent in, I'm trying so hard to tap into my heart to paint what I feel, but always end up going realistic, meaning the painting doesn't speak to me. I'm certain that this video will help me escape that trap. I love that comment. JD said, something finally clicked even though I've understood the importance of value versus color. Born Again Farm Girl said, I too have felt myself enslaved to the correct color. Ferrelli, thank you for the encouragement to try something a little different than I had in the past. Here is probably what I think is the best definition of success that I have ever come across. And this is from Winston Churchill. Success isn't the absence of failure, but going from failure to failure without any loss of enthusiasm. And I think Angie describes this so beautifully in this comment. You inspire me to work harder at this, to play more, and rediscover why I started doing this in the first place. I think I got lost in being so disappointed in doing so many bad paintings. Does that sound familiar? I get one okay painting for about 100 duds, but I have done a few which are pretty okay. I know I can get there and that the journey is what matters. I've done all your other tutorials. None of my results are that good. However, I learned so much by just doing them and that's priceless. We do need to remember why we're really doing this. Hopefully it's for the love we have for it, for the joy of creating and documenting the beauty that we see around us. And I'd like to also add this thought. Being successful is not the same thing as being talented. Talent is really overrated. If talent and determination were to get in a fight, determination would come out on top every single time. Sue Monk Kidd said in her book, The Secret Life of Bees, actually, you can be bad at doing something, but if you love it enough, that will be enough. 
I really do believe that. If you really love painting enough, you'll push through your failures and you'll learn to quit making the same mistakes and you'll eventually become good at what you really want to be good at. Joy should really be in the process of painting rather than in trying to turn out a successful painting each time and feeling like a failure if you don't. I'd like to show you something right now that should make you all feel better about yourselves as artists. This is a painting that I did probably almost 40 years ago when my husband and I were um, stationed in the Army and um, I enrolled in a class on the post. And the night after this first class, I came home and I left this painting sitting on the table. And this probably is, to my recollection, the very first painting that I ever did in a formal class setting. So I get up the next day and I see this painting sitting on the table with these little remarks added by my dear husband. See me, D. Allen, urgent. D. Allen was the name of the teacher. <laughs> so if I had let myself be stung by those words, which I actually knew were meant to be funny, I would have never picked up another paintbrush again. But instead, I let it roll off my back and I had a good laugh. It helps if we can have a sense of humor along the way and not take ourselves too seriously too. I used to think that success would be getting to a point where every painting turned out well. But success for me now is quite different. What I can say is that I'm no longer afraid of my paints, my brushes, and my paper. We've actually become really comfortable friends with each other. I no longer panic when I face a sheet of empty white paper. That doesn't mean I still turn out some dogs now and then, but I've also learned some good ways to avoid mistakes and some good ways to rescue a piece that's having problems. And I'm not that scared to have someone watch me paint. If I turn out something bad, so be it. I feel like I've developed a process that's pretty consistent at this point, And I feel like that is a measure of success. So the point is, you guys, I'm really not any better than you are. I've just been at it longer. I just never quit. I never gave up, even when I was really terrible. <laughs> And to conclude, I want to share one other thing with you that I don't do very often, but because it feels like it fits into this segment, I'm going to do it. I want to show you this catalog. This is the catalog of the American Watercolor Society. And I felt when I was um, starting out in watercolor that it would be really important to get a membership in a national watercolor organization organization. So it was my goal that I made for myself to someday be a signature member of this organization. So I started submitting paintings to um, the American Watercolor Society show. And every year I received a rejection. Rejection after rejection, but I kept entering. Every year the painting that I submitted got a little better. Finally, I got a painting in the show. Another bunch of years went by. I kept entering, and I kept entering. Then in 2005, something really, really crazy happened. I'll show you. I won the gold medal in the American Watercolor Society show. I'm telling you, I fell on the floor, and I have the medal to show you right here. <laughs> so I showed them, you guys, I showed them that it's not talent that wins, it's persistence. It's sticking to it. It's loving it enough to keep going. But more importantly than that, I showed myself, I showed myself that I could do it. And I know that you guys can too. Just keep with it, keep strapping on those aprons and keep painting. 
and you will do it. You will be successful of art as artists. Thank you for joining me today. This has been a fun segment and I hope it's giving you some courage to keep going, to feel good about yourselves, and to recognize that your failures or what you think are failures are steps on the rung of a ladder that's going to take you to the top. Nobody can start anywhere but the bottom. Thank you for being with me today, and I look forward to seeing you again. The next segment, I'm going to carry this subject on a little bit more. I'm going to do another thing that's going to embarrass myself. I'm going to show you a painting that I did years ago, and I'm going to point out all the things that I feel are mistakes in that painting, and then I'm going to do a redo of it. So hopefully that will be something of interest to you. So join me for the next segment. And I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you and goodbye.